Hello guys, uh, today I want to talk about Olama. Olama is an open source project that serves as a powerful and user-friendly platform for running LLMs on your local machine. It acts as a bridge between the complexities of LLM technology and the desired and accessible and customizable AI experience. So, here is the main website where you can get everything you need to start using Olama. During this video, I have never used Olama before, so it is the first time for me also. The website itself is very simple and clear, so to find a required LLM model or API documentation would not be a problem. As for example, here is the list of plenty of LLM models that you are gonna use together with Olama. Let's check random one, let it be Dolphin Mistral. You can download and use this model in the same way as any other within this list. In case you want to download and use a little model from Hacking Face, the model must be quantized in GGUF format. Also, you can download and use Olama for Mac OS, Linux and Windows OS. Just click on corresponsive icon right here. I am using Mac OS, so starting to download it for Mac. It takes roughly 20 seconds. Let's wait until it will be downloaded. And here you go. All Lama installation file is locally available here. I want to unzip this file right here. You can see this nice white Olama icon. So let's run Olama installation right now. Give the permission to run this file and move to application folder which is the mandatory step. Installation guide is right here. Click on next in this dialog window and let's install the command line for Olama. Type computer password and that's it. Now we can run our first model with Olama. Let's copy this command line function. Open the terminal and try to use Olama with command line first time. Create a new terminal tab and let's play. So, I want to paste that Olama CLI function I copied previously and run Llama 3 LLM model locally. It seems it takes some time to pull LLM Llama 3 model from the internet. The main GGUF file takes about 4.7 GB. Remember, it is quantized version of the model. As the pulling is completed, we can communicate with the LLM directly in this terminal. Let's start with the simple question to the LLM. Hello, how are you today? LLM is thinking. And here's the response. Now we see that Olama is working good, so I can close the current communication with the LLM. Just type by command in the end. We can come back to the main Olama website and I just want to check what other Llama models are available from Olama. Writing Llama in search bar and let's take a look. And among them I want to show there is one model very efficient use for rack architecture. It is Llama 3 Chat QA. There are two versions available with 8 billions and 70 billions of parameters. I am really interested in this model, so let's run it locally right now. Come back to our terminal and let's run Llama 3 ChatQA 8 billions model. It takes 4.7 GB, similar as the Llama 3, so let's wait a bit until it will be pulled down locally. It shouldn't take too long. Just I want to show you the overall simplicity of Olama framework. Remember that you can download any model from the list in the same way or use quantized version of your model from Hugging Face. Also, I strongly recommend to check Olama blog to check the actual updates and noobs about everything related with the Olama. I think that downloading Climate 3 chat QA is nearly to finish line. Let's check that. I see that the pulling is nearly to finish. And that's it. 
we have Llama 3 chat Q&A LLM model ready to use locally. To do this, I'm gonna use the same CLI functions we used for Llama 3 model. Before that, let's check which models are available now in my local. So, we have Llama 3 chat Q&A which we pulled down just a minute ago and Llama 3 with the tag latest. And this time, I want to have a Python file which run the model. For this reason, let's check our Llama GitHub repo. And here I'm looking for that Python file template which can be either used to run LLM model locally in my use case. It should be something like simple chat with Python folder. It's somewhere here. As you can see, there are plenty of Python stuff built on Olama. Hmm, simple chat example is maybe good. What about generation template? Let's check more. Simple generate example. This is what exactly I want, I think. We need to take this Python code and make some changes there. Let's copy the code from this file and bring to the local Python file on your PC. Here is my Python file, which for now is empty. Let's open it up and quickly paste the code from the repo. Let me enlarge the code editor. And here it is. Now I can work with Olama with Python code locally. So, once we have a code template, we need to specify that we want to use specific LLM model for our use case. Remember, we have two models pulled down locally, but we need to take Q&A model only. So, we need to replace the name of the model in line number 5 with that one we want to use. So far, so good. Let's check what we can do more here. I see here's the main logic how the input prompts are receiving from the end user. You can customize it as well. And another important thing is the port Olama framework will run in background. Let's check if the port in the code matches that one Olama has in the settings by using Olama surf CLI function. And as you can see, the port numbers are the same. That is good. That one we see in the terminal and that one in generate inference in the code. I think now we are ready to run this Python file and communicate with the Q&A LLM model in that way. Let me have another terminal to do that and let's run it with Python 3. Okay, we are ready. And here you go, I'm asked to enter a prompt to locally served LLM. Let's ask what I can visit in Budapest this summer with family. This is my question to LLM. And here is the very detailed answer to that. I'm not going to evaluate this answer right now, but it looks really comprehensive. Let's try another prompt. Let's say, what is the composition of Atom? Here you go, answer from LLM is amazing. That's all what I wanted to show you today. Definitely, I will use Olama for many LLM based purposes. What about you? Let's discuss that in the comments. See you there and thanks for watching.